What's up, Warriors? I'm Troy Lewis. And I'm Emma Kate, and today is Friday, March 19th. And we're back with another WBN broadcast. Let's get the show started off with back to school recommendations from Jenna and Madison. What's up, Warriors? I'm Madison. And I'm Jenna. And this week, we're doing a video on school recommendations. First off, we're starting with organization. Make sure your Chromebook is charged because a lot of classes at the moment are not taking notes on paper. But if you know it isn't charged, please bring a Chromebook charger. Also, if you do need a notebook for classes such as math and science, make sure you bring them so that you can take your notes and bring the pens and pencils you need to take the notes. Okay, and for time management, make sure the night before you're cleaning out your lunches and snacks throughout the day, and please bring water. You gotta stay hydrated. And wake up at least an hour and a half before the bell rings so that we have enough time to get ready in the morning like we used to. Don't congregate in the hallways and make sure that you're getting to class on time. Also, make sure that you clear out your schedule so that you have time for homework and after school practices and clear out your schedule so that you have Fridays free so that you can show your school spirit by watching the Matoka football game. And don't forget, SOL's AP tests and exams are all coming up and they're right around the corner. Thanks for watching. Stay productive. Emma Kate, did you take the SAT last year? I did take it. Well, I didn't take it. To be honest, I don't know much about it. Well, let's check out this video that Hannah and William made to learn more about it. Hey Warriors, here are some important test dates that are coming up that you should definitely write down. Have an amazing Friday, Warriors. I heard that there's going to be a homecoming week. Yeah, I heard there's something about like a t-shirt design. Yes, let's check out this video that Nick made. Are you interested in having your own custom design on a homecoming t-shirt? This year, students are being given the opportunity to submit their own designs for homecoming shirts that will be voted on and distributed to every student in their respective grade. The following details and rules are all you need to know about the competition. Every student will receive a shirt at no charge to them. Each class will have their own student design shirt. All students are welcome to submit a design. All shirts will be black and student designs should be limited to two to three colors. The contest is open now through 3 p.m. next Wednesday, March 24th, and admins will then go through all submissions to check to make sure that they are school appropriate and conform to the rules. Students will then vote for their favorite design during homeroom on Friday, March 26th. Students can submit their designs to the appropriate links below depending on their class year. These links are also available to them through their English teachers. Good luck, Warriors. Hey, Troy, are you back in the building for school? No, I'm not, but I wonder how the students feel about being back in school. Yeah, let's check out this video that Alex, Reed, and Tanner made about being back in school. I see some of my friends that, you know, decided to come back to school. All right, I went back to school and um, I was excited to see all the teachers again and walk to school one last time. Hey guys, it's the Matoka Field Hockey team back from our run against Colonial Heights. Yeah. Woo! Being back at school this year is definitely different than it was last year. We enjoy seeing our friends. It's nice to talk to teachers and administration. Yeah. Woo! Uh, going back in person has definitely been different. I personally gotten so used to going virtual because I get to get up late in the mornings and I get to see my dogs, which I love. But going back in person, I get to see my teachers, there's more class discussions and stuff. Uh, definitely get to see your friends and stuff. And I think that I probably definitely get more work done because sometimes I go to sleep in class. But we're getting our work done now, so that's, that's the main thing. I like going back because I get to see all my teachers and friends and I don't have to worry about connection issues at home. I can just get it all done. I didn't mind going back to school. It was just boring. Emma Kate, you will never guess what I heard. What? 
that we have TSA champions in our school. Really? Yes. In fact, Kendall made a video about it. Let's check it out. I'm Mr. G, the uh, club advisor for the Technology Student Associations. This is our second year that we since we restarted the club, and I'm a very proud advisor over here. Hello, my name is Alex. Uh, this is my second year in TSA and my uh, first year competing. Hello, my name is Hunter. I've been in uh, TSA for two years, and this is my second year competing, first time winning. Hi, guys. My name is Kendall. This was my first year in TSA and my first year competing. My name is Drew Sadler. This is my second year in TSA. I am president this year, and I competed both last year and this year. I competed in structural and engineering design, um, the dragster race, and I won the structural engineering design. I participated in architectural CAD, which is computer-aided design and making architecture in the computer I did video game design last year and went pretty well uh, i did promotional de promotional design and dragster design um and i got first place for the um, promotional design competition i competed in promotional design and digital video production and i placed second for digital video production did you guys have fun with the experience even though it was virtual Yes. It was interesting how they did it virtually, but um, still fun. Yeah, I would say uh, there could be like a, an advantage because uh, it was virtual because like some of the um, competitions you would like present in front of judges, but like we had to record it this time. So like there was a uh, less nervousness per se. I didn't compete last year, so I didn't really have the comparison from in person last year to virtual this year, but I thought that the competition was fun having it virtual. Are you guys excited about heading to the technosphere? which is the state competition. Yeah, it'd be fun. Excited. I'm excited and nervous because like, this is where like a lot of people, like they already won. So going up against the big, the big ones. So it's going to be exciting and nerve wracking. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting and fun. Um, we'll see what happens and uh, hopefully things go well, of course. I agree with what everyone else said. I'm excited about going to stage, but I'm also kind of nervous at the same time. And I hope everything goes well for all of us. Once again, proud teacher, proud advisor here. We've had a great week filled with sports. Yes, indeed we have. Let's check out the sports highlight video that we made.
<laughs> That's all we have for today. Make sure you stay connected by following us on Instagram and Twitter at Matoka WBN and following our YouTube at Warrior Broadcast News. Make sure you send us an email at submitwbn at gmail.com. And if you have any ideas, submit them at bit.ly slash WBN sign up. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.